But up next, Baskin Robin is going to continue to do it. He's planning on coming out here. You better be careful, Baskin. You've got targets on your ass. But luckily for you, Opie Smith beat the shit out of Stan Van Sykes. Yes, he did. So that's good for you. And they're clearing the ring right now. Baskin Robin's about to make his grand entrance. And that's all that matters. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Long Beach needs a reason. And you bet your ass, Baskin Robin is gonna give you a reason to be here tonight. You see, Baskin Robin has a lot of things to give to all of you before he goes. I am giving you one of the best last runs I could possibly give you. Retro Zerk is done. SSB was demolished. That train does not stop. There is a list of people that I have to kill off. And let me tell you, I know you guys want to hear from me. I know you want to hear about my thoughts on Jay Vice. My thoughts on Jay Vice trying to ruin my walkout with the ABWF World Championship. I know you want to hear me talk about Archangel and the beating he delivered on me. But the truth is, nothing that happens between any of us matters at all. The only actions that matter are the actions that take place at the pay-per-view December 31st. Because trust me, we're going to fight all the time. All the time. And you're going to see left and right fireworks, incredible endings. But the truth is, none of that's going to matter in the end. And so, I don't feel it is important to talk about. So let me just get down to real business. MXL! MXL! Back in March, you beat a weak man with nothing. No passion. Nothing left for this business. Well, tonight, MXL, let's give you your last rodeo because you're falling off real hard, real fast. Baskin Robin versus MXL. I cannot wait for that main event. Can you? I don't think you'd want to. It's going to be a great one, MXL. It's time to put you down, big man. It's time to end all this. And you're next on the list. Baskin Robin, you're a dead man. 
You're a dead man! What's Jay Vice mad about? There he is. But he's a dead man because he's not getting attention. Makes a lot of sense. Jay Vice is an attention hoe. Get this man a bitch! Robin's the biggest bitch. I guess, I guess that's what he wants, man. What is Jay Vice so mad about? I don't know. He's so mad that he's walking out with his legacy. You gonna put a finger on him? What are you gonna do? Ah, that's all he does. Of course. Look at you. Look at you talking about how you don't give a damn. Look at you, acting like you ain't concerned. And what you did, what you did backstage to stand, Van Sites is gonna give you some early ass repercussions. First of all, Jay, I wouldn't talk about repercussions. You tried to give me repercussions last week and I beat your ass. I wouldn't talk so much. You give a damn, you better listen to me right now. Now you got a real big problem ahead of you. Because what you did to stand Van Sites backstage, what you did to stand Van Sites, you are not walking out. As the ABWF World Champion, you better. Um, Where to God, bastard! Wait, 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 Jay. Hold on a second. Okay. So what you're saying is, you think I attacked Stan Van Sice backstage? You smart ass. That's exactly what I'm telling you. That's exactly what I'm telling you. Who the hell else would do it, huh? Why wouldn't you do it? When you know that me and him are coming after your ass, why wouldn't you do it? Jay, listen to me, man. I know you've been watching what I've been doing. I know. You've seen me take out RetroZerk. You've seen me take out SSB. You've seen me calling out MXL. You see me out here actually fighting, doing what I have to do. And Stan Van Sice, Jay, I wouldn't take him out backstage. Look at me, Jay. I ain't afraid of any of this shit. I'm not here to run away. I'm here to make a final blast before I am gone. We'll get to that, Jay, between me and you, but stand backstage. Jay, I'm not the one who attacked Stan Van Sice backstage. I don't care if your whole army of ass kissers come to try and stop me. There's no way in hell it's gonna happen because I have all the chips set. Jay, you can blame me all you want, but maybe you should pay attention to the things you've been saying to certain people. Jay, maybe you should go to Opie Smith and ask him this question. Hell, if I were Opie Smith and I was getting berated by my quote unquote best friend and his ass kissing sidekick. Hell, I'd want to beat that asshole up too. So Jay, it's not me you should be pointing the blame at. Of course, it's easy to point the blame at me. I'm, I'm here to take your championship. I'm here to take everything this company represents. Come on now, Jay. You're a smart guy. Or so I thought. But hey, while you're back there trying to find Opie Smith, let him know next week at Seasons Beatings, after I take out MXL tonight, he is next on the list. Your original piece of dirty work, Opie Smith needs to get pummeled and Jay I know you won't have a problem with that because come on he attacked Stan Van Sice and Jay when I'm finished with Opie Smith I got something for you a good old Christmas gift from good old Saint Baskin Jay, wisen up, big man. The world's ending around you. 
Oh, and uh, Jay, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure you forgot about this, but didn't you want to have a, a warm-up or a tune-up at season's beatings? Well, I, you shouldn't be focused on me right now. You're trying to prove that your title loss was a farce and what, whatnot, all your bullshit. I think you should be focused on that in seven days. Trust me, Jay. You think you have it in the bag until you don't. And it'll be way too late to fix that problem. So don't be focused on me. Focus on your opponent next week. Jay Vice. I don't think me and you have properly met. My name is Chris Sean. Next week at Seasons Beatings, you said the entire locker room has a chance to touch greatness. The nonstop God is greatness, Jay. And it seems like the tides are turning in some situations. You've lost everything that you were and I'm gaining everything I should have been and at season's beatings where it all started for Chris Sean when I beat one of the best world champions of all time and that's you I'll finally be in the spot that I've always should have been in. Championship or not, Jay, I don't need a title to be the best. I don't need material to define me. No. All I need to do is shut, shut up. up. Shut up, Chris. No, we haven't met yet, but allow me to introduce myself. I'm Jay Bites. I'm the best in the world. 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 Chris, it's funny how delusions work. You feel like you're climbing that ladder. But you're barely in the area that I'm in. And you see, Chris, I got a lot on my plate. And you ain't half the meal the rest of it is. So Chris Sean, non-stop God, whatever that means. Bad timing. Because now, you are going to shut up. But you ain't going to fight. Your mouth will be permanently closed and sealed for good after you eat this super kick, bitch. See you next week. Wow, man. That, that's a huge match. What the hell's the crowd going up? Well, Chris is leaving. Oh! oh! Balls! Nut shot! Wiener Dog J is done! Wiener Dog! Oh my god, what is going Wiener on? Wiener Dog! Man, look at Baskin's attacking J now. Damn! You shouldn't be focused on him, you should be focused on your pawn, but he was looking in the back just waiting to do this to J. Ladies and gentlemen, up, up, on, I'm gonna talk to you. up next we've got Hardcore TV, Austin Marcos backstage, we gotta get to that right now.